Good morning people, this is Sam, South Carolina Happy Bees. It is 81 degrees out here. Feels like 87. We got sunny, very partly cloudy, not much. Uh, but this is a hive number 30, uh, 302 that used to be a double deep eight. They wanted to swarm, so we helped them out. And they had a bunch of swarm cells in there. So we cut the swarm cells out and stuck them in other boxes. We made five different splits for this one. And I didn't video it because it was taking too long. But we're here again now. This one right here, as I'm supposed to have, did have, on uh, 6 9, it had an unmarked queen she was walking. So she's not marked, but she was hatched on 528. So we're hoping we have eggs in here now. Got my queen catcher. People have been wondering about my one-handed queen catcher. I've cut both of my thumbs, both of the thumbs with a table saw, and they don't have much feeling anymore, so we're not using them too much. That over there, this is a screened inner cover that I used to build for all my hives. Used to raise tens and nukes and that was it. So I built a bunch of screens for ventilation because I don't like the screen bottom boards and I like the screen top boards. We're going to set them right there. This is uh, one of my feeder rings. It has ventilation there and on this side is about two and a half inches high and that's one of the ways they get the ventilation. This is their feeder which is a which is a bottle that's cut it's a plastic bottle and it was cut about one third of it off and that's what I use for a feeder because the other little ones I used to use couldn't get anymore seems like all the bakeries and everything they're turning to bag frosting instead of um, my pale frostings so I don't get very many pails anymore this is just a block that I had in there to keep my feeder from rolling oh Sam cut it in the wrong area we're gonna look at these now and see what we have they look like they're doing pretty good they're calm At this point in life, it's still kind of cool for them. They deal pretty good up until it gets to about 95, and then they get a little anxious and forget where their friendliness is. Feels like the honey frame, looks like the honey frame. Got bees on it, it's got some drones on it, and that's a good thing. This is filled up with this is mostly um, drone brood that they've made and or hatched, and they're now filling it up with nectar, and that will be a honey frame. This side over here has pollen on it and nectar. So that's them. Hope y'all can see that okay. But that's them. We're going to sit them down over here. Very gently because we don't want to squish nobody. Lean it up against the box that they came out of in case it just still has a queen on it. This one is saying we might be going to add another box. This one here has some capped brood on it. 
We have a matey queen. She has eggs, she has larvae, she has brood, there's pollen. No bugs. Uh, let's see if we can see her. Sun is just coming up over the trees now. Okay, I don't see her. This is eggs and capped brood and larvae down in here. This is pollen over here. A little honey up here, little honey over here, here. Got some nectar down here and some pollen in here. We got a little bee right here that dipped a little far into their plant. Come back a little greenish yellowish. We'll be adding another box of this. Maybe a super. But it will probably be an eight frame deep. I mean a five frame deep. This one has brood. It has eggs. It has pollen. It has honey. Side over here has the same thing. We would like to find and mark the queen. But that's all brood and pollen and honey and everything you need on the bee frame right there. No bugs. That frame was started on the 5th of last month. Today is the 17th of this month. So they have built out their foundation on strange fishing line and then laid it up, filled it up just about. This one has eggs. There's Queen. There she is right there. Hope y'all can see her. And she's not marked, so we're gonna catch her. And mark her. There she is. really right for me to see her. She's trying to go underneath the little push down thing. There we go, we about got her. Okay, we got her captured. We're gonna put her down over here in the shade. We're going to take this and put it back down in there. Like I say, we're going to add another box of this one. Got my yellow marker here. It is a marker called Painters from Walmart. And it costs $2.79 instead of $8, $9. They have them in all the colors we need. Tap it to get it working right. Pull our queen out over here. And push up the plunger. There we go. And 
And these plungers, we knew they worked real good. After they get older, the padding under there gets I think the pen might be wearing out. But that's okay because we have more. Okay, she is marked. She is a little yellow queen. We're going to stick her over here in the shade again. Let her dry up a little bit. You know, the bees in there will do their best to get that coloring off of her. I'm sure that coloring probably has some sort of a scent. So we let it dry first. We will be putting a deep note box here. This was full of honey. We're not even going to take it out. That was full of honey because I can tell by the weight. We'll push these over here. Later on, we got too much to do right now to before it gets too hot. So we'll come back and put them another box on here probably tonight. We'll put some new foundation, uh, new strings in there. New frames with strings. And we may even put a built out one from the freezer on the bottom look clean too from the freezer so she got a place to lay. We're gonna give them some pollen. I use pollen patties from, they're not patties, excuse me. Pollen, I buy them 40 pound bags and I put them in a five gallon bucket. It just about fills up that five gallon bucket. And I like to make sure that my girls has got feed to make the babies to make a better hive. Take that out. We're gonna put it there. We may even give them some water today. Get them one of their little water trays. Okay, and this is the bottom, bottom of a uh, Pepsi Cola, Coca Cola bottle, big bottle. And we're going to use that for water. So we're going to put it there. There we go. We're going to put it here, so they got water in there. Yeah. Put their ring back on here. Oh, these things here, when I cut them, bees can't get up and down that plastic too easy, so I take my wax and I melt my wax, and that thing is coated in wax, front, bottom, back, inside, outside. The same thing with this feeder here. People, some people don't care, and they just let their bees, I'll come back and put water in there. They let their bees just do what they can with what they've got. Might need to put my leveling block back in there.
when you cut these things you need to cut them to where the bottom is flat and I didn't do that on this one this one's at the point because it's got different angles on it I'm gonna put them some pine straw in here so they can get around and not drown and we're gonna go ahead and not put any of that in there okay now we're gonna turn the queen loose we're gonna brush the little bees off that wants to protect her right there there she goes now this I need to clean it out wash it before I go and catch another queen put in it but don't and the queen smell different Queen smells different, so they could kill the queen. There's another little nuke over here. So we got a marked queen on this one, so we take our brick. Instead of holding it off at the edge, we turn it sideways. We mark it first here to what we did and what we saw. We're going to, this is where the mother, uh, all these nukes came from out of this hide here. Y'all check back on the 302 twos. You'll see what it was and it's been a few weeks. Like I say, this one here, Queen hatched in 28th of last month. So it'd be before that. So y'all have a great day. This is Sam, South Carolina Happy Bees. Subscribe, give us a thumbs up, a comment, share and above all just be happy today stay out of the heat don't get too hot y'all have a wonderful bye